Hi, my name's Mitch, and normally I like to go with the flow. <clears throat> the unexpected journey. But today, that's not an option, because if we do, we die. Right now, I'm sitting on the ocean floor with my cousin. Hi, I'm Carrie. And if we stay here just a few more hours, the tide will rise five stories above us. Say hello to the Bay of Fundy, one of the seven wonders in North America. Here you'll find dinosaur fossils, rare minerals, whales. But what made the bay famous is the, the tides. tides! The Bay of Fundy has the highest tides on the planet. More water moves through the bay in one day than all the freshwater rivers in the world. Over 100 billion tons per day. The bay's water is so powerful. It's constantly changing the coastline, sculpting rock columns and islands. Even the trees have to hang on. At low tide, you can literally go for a walk on the ocean floor. The water retreats up to five kilometers in some areas. The question is, how does this happen? The Bay of Fundy is just the right length for resonance to exist, which is pretty much a fancy term for a rocking motion or vibration. You can even try this yourself by pouring water in a baking dish. Let's pretend land is on the right. If you move the dish back and forth slowly, the tide moves in relation to how much you rock the dish. If you rock the dish at just the right frequency, this is resonance, the sloshing builds up, simulating bigger tides. If the bay was shorter in length, the resonance would be very weak, like a small push on the swing. Because the bay is 270 kilometers long, it's more like a huge push. So we have a... And that's the reason why these tides are so massive here. Sending good vibes to you all. See you next time.